The first film by director Breno Silveira is a true story of a father with a dream, a dream that becomes an obsession to make his two older sons into country singers. With a good dose of humor and drama, the background of this film is filled with sentimental music and social and political issues. In the best of the Brazilian film tradition, this film is a portrait of children who are able to overcome the vicious circle of poverty and marginality. Brazilian audience reacted in different ways with mixed feelings for this film. For the upper and high middle classes who have a certain prejudice against country music, this is just another story about country's poverty and social inequality. Also, some viewers struggle with the approach given to the story where biography became fiction with a twist into documentary at the very end. However, for most viewers, even those that don't like country music, this is an inspiring story of a Brazilian family who was able to overcome the struggles they faced throughout their lives to make a dream come true through their own work and talent. One particularly interesting episode that portrays the political moment that the country was facing is found when the duo is invited to perform for the first time at the radio station. On the way to the city, the children notice the Brazilian army and with excitement recognize the presence of the state in their distant world. At the time, Brazil was going through one of its most critical moments in history when repression and censorship were imposed by the military dictatorship. Performing a song written by an acquaintance, the father and the children did not realize that the word tyranny, although it had a beautiful sound and would make a perfect rhyme, could not be verbalized. Humiliated, they leave the radio station without a chance to perform and quite not sure of what had just happened. Yeah. Cadê as suas estanças e a sua alegria? Viva as forças amadas e a sua tirania. Viva as Viva as forças armadas e a sua tirania. Little by little, Francisco the father gains political conscience and decides to leave the circle where the family lives, aware that things could never change unless they, the people, would change. In the dichotomy of country versus city that will be shown, uh, there are some details that can be observed, that, like the red dust that comes up in the landscape when they are living in the countryside, and that will come also come in the song played uh, when they are leaving the place versus the rain when they arrive in their new place. The dark versus the electricity, the friendly environment from the countryside versus the capitalism of the big city. But these are just details, since the main focus should be on the people and on their lives, as well as on the great performance of the actors. When the family arrives in Goiânia, capital of the state of Goiás in central Brazil, Mirosmar, the oldest son, quickly observes the opportunity of the big city, including a chance to perform for money. And it will be while performing at the bus station that the brothers will meet their first manager who will take them for their first tours around the region. The making of the scenes at the bus station were extremely difficult since producers decided to film in local, making the proper arrangements to look as real as possible. But the biggest challenge was the huge commotion that happened when people realized the presence of the real Zezé de Camargo and Luciano in the making of the film. So the faces we see are the faces of real people with real emotions for the songs being performed. Songs that talk about their own lives and become a huge success in later years as you will see at the end. Enjoy it.